and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the brand new content that happens on Saturdays, as you guys know, every week. It is Legend Saturdays for a reason. Now, as you guys know, Legend Saturdays brings about two new legends. It brings about some Legend Fantasy Packs, some nice new power-ups, some nice new things, some decreased market price, which is why I'll be doing a market talk for you guys today. No Legend Saturday content video. I think I'll be dropping a gameplay for you guys today, so stay tuned for that. And maybe a lineup update, because I did actually pick up quite a few things in the lineup, as you guys can see from my coin stack. I have made quite a big change to the team. So I got to go over all that in the next videos. Hopefully I can get that all out for you guys today. And I believe that's all that comes out on Saturday. So that should be just enough content for the day for me to roll out for you guys. And also guys, if you haven't already, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, boys. We are so close to 10K. We are like 200 subscribers away from 10K. This is crazy, boys. Let's make it happen within the next two days. Smash that subscribe button. If you guys all smash that button, we can hit it by tonight. We can hit it by tomorrow. So make sure everyone watching this smash that and come join the 10K Poodle fan before it's too late. Comment down below what you guys think of these two legends. They're actually really awesome legends. The only issue is that I think there's better options in some of these positions, but I'll go over all that when we get to the um, the cards. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, boys. I know it's a content video, so let's get that to 100 likes. And also, guys, make sure to go drop a follow on Twitter at poodle underscore YT. Go say what's up, DM me, talk to me on over there. It's the easiest place to contact me on. I usually answer all the time on there. And we're almost at 1,000 followers, so let's make that happen. Now, guys, the new legends are Ed Reed and... Uh, I don't want to botch this guy's name. He's a right guard. I'll go over him in the video. I know I'm going to mess up his name if I try saying it right now. Let's see real quick. It is Larry Little. There we go. I was going to say like Jerry Little or something. So the only issue with these cards are their positions because Ed Reed in this game is a strong safety, which means he kind of conflicts with Pat Tillman as well every strong safety for the year. And then the issue with Little is that we do have the David DeCastro just came out, which I believe is one of the best, if not the best right guard in the game. So it's going to be very hard to compete with him, but I'll go over all that as we get over to the Legends. Ed Reed's always a beast, though, so I guess if you don't have Pat Tillman anywhere near completed, Ed Reed would be a great option. Or Jamal Adams, obviously. Or, if you don't want to buy David DeCastro and you want to just power up little all the way to like an 89. But we'll go over all that. I'll go over all their power stats and everything. Let's head on over to Twitter real quick to check out all their stats. Okay, boys, so we're over on Twitter here real quick. We're at Ed Reed. We're going to show first that 91 overall strong safety. He's got that little box every way um, directional thing. I think that's like a lockdown zone archetype kind of thing. You guys know better than I do. He's got 47 salary cap, so pretty high salary cap from what I've been seeing. Like, I don't really know the salary cap game, but from what I've been seeing from other salary cap guys, it's pretty high. Let's see. He's got, he's got pretty decent card art. Nothing too special. It's an average legend card. 5 foot 11. Ed Reed's never really the tallest guy. He's never really the biggest hitter, but they actually do give him some decent hit power on this card. He's got 90 speed, 90 excel. He's always a crazy athlete, but again, with Pat Tillman, Pat Tillman's faster and more athletic. His tackle's a little low. Yeah, he's always kind of like Deion Sanders-esque. He's always like a really athletic ball hawk that can't really hit too well or tackle too well. But he's got 87 play rec, which is really good. 83 pursuit. I think the man's a little low. That's kind of always a beauty of Ed Reed. He usually has man and zone, but he, his man's a little too low for me. So he's kind of like, in my opinion, a very good version of Earl Thomas, or he's, he's an athletic version of Earl Thomas or uh, Eddie Jackson, because that's what Earl Thomas and Eddie Jackson cards are. They usually have decently low hit power, really high zone, really high play rec, decent man, and then like low speed, but Ed Reed does have the athleticism there. The only issue is that I think Ed Reed would be better off at free safety, but I don't really like putting uh, guys out of position, especially in the secondary. I don't know how it affects them. I don't know if it affects their awareness or how well they can play out of position. I don't really know how that works, so I never really messed with that. If you guys know better, if you guys know already, let me comment down below if you think Ed Reed should be played out of position at free safety. Remember, guys, you can power these guys up to their 89 overall. That's how I get a lot of my cards. Like maybe half my team is guys that are powered up, like Deion Sanders, um, Brian Dawkins, Randy Moss, Michael Vick. Half my team is just powered up guys that are powered up to their highest setting before their full card. So Ed Reed powered up to an 89 would probably have like an 88 speed, 88 excel. 77 tackle 85 play rec 82 pursuit 78 man probably 87 zone coverage and an 82 hit power 83 hit power so oh my bad so potentially you could threshold them to a zone if they don't kill a zone but like you know a lot of cards right before their full power up they typically kill one of their best stats on that power up card like alvin kamara's power up doesn't get a good speed um deon sanders power up gets a zone killed so i don't know what they'll kill on this card it'll probably be the zone he'll still be really fast but i don't think he's gonna be better than brian dawkins powered up It'll, it'll be close, but I think I'd rather just stick with my Dawkins at this point. And he actually is a free safety. Next, we got Larry Little. Very weird card art. You can only see half his face. He kind of looks like it's literally like a shadow there. The, um, the shadow is going right over his face. You can see the other half of his face there. 
Now, he must have played a while ago. I don't remember the exact years he played, but those are some big ass shoulder pads. He's got the the wing looking archetype. Don't really know what that means. So train, he can obviously be trained up, guys. Now for linemen, it's always a little different. I'll go over all that in a second on how I feel about his train card. 25 salary cap. I don't know what the lineman's looking like for salary cap, but that does seem a little bit lower compared to what I just saw with the 47 on Ed Reed. Now He's 91 overall, obviously. I think within the next week or so, we probably should start getting 92 legends, considering that's where the game's trending, coming towards most feared. He's got 87 strength, that's decent. 87 awareness, that's decent. 88 pass block, that's pretty good. 87 pass block power is pretty good. 90 block finesse is really good. 90 run block is really good. 87 run block power is really good. And 90 run block finesse. Now, if you power this guy up and chem him up, you might get him close to thresholds. What I know for certain is David DeCastro. Everything's an 89 or a 90, so once you power him up, or chem him up, everything will be above a 90. So I think David DeCastro is still the better option at right guard. Larry Little, if you happen to pull him, not a bad option. Remember, you can also power him up, and you can get him for a lot cheaper than any of the other guys. If you powered him up, you'd probably have like an 85 strength, 85 awareness, 86 pass block, 85 pass block power, probably like an 87 run block finesse, 87 run blocking, 85 run block power, and an 87 run block finesse. He'd still have really high 80 overall blocking stats. But again, I don't recommend powering up Larry Little. Now, Ed Reed's a different story. He'd still be really good. Him and Brian Dawkins would be really good secondary options powered up. I don't think that Lyman's the best option. But again, if you're more of a budget team or salary cap team, if you guys don't believe in Lyman, right? People who don't believe in Lyman, then power him up. You'll get high tier 80 stats and you'll get the job done for you. But I believe in Lyman stats. Maybe it's just me, but in the fact, in the case that you guys don't, an 89 Larry Little will probably get the job done for you guys. But with the way I run the ball, I can definitely feel the difference with having top tier guys like David DeCastro on inside zone Barkley. Barkley's been running loose for like 200 yards a game. So that's kind of what I come to expect at this point. So I got to kind of keep rocking with it. Now, that's pretty much it for today's Legend Drops, guys. Let's go over to the Madden screen for some last little tips before I head on out of this video. All right, guys, so we're back to the Madden screen. As you guys do know, they will be dropping Legend Fantasy Packs today. And my quick little tip for you guys is that with the Legend Fantasy Packs, remember the 10 bundle costs more. No, the eight bundle with the topper costs more and you get less packs than two five bundles. So if you get two five bundles, it will cost like a few dollars less and you get two extra packs, but you don't get the topper. So it always comes down to, do you prefer the topper or do you prefer the extra fantasy bundles? Because obviously it, I mean, it depends, right? Cause the, the fantasy, I mean, maybe with all the limited times and packs, like, um, whatever the, what's it called? Deion Sanders and whatever else they might have. But I mean, you can only really pull them Deion Sanders out of the, the legend topper. Or a full legend piece so it comes down to do you think two legend fantasy packs have a better chance of pulling something for you than the 86 plus topper that all that's all up to you guys so you guys can go figure that out and also don't forget you're going to want to be playing the uh, the challenges for the new legends when they do drop i've been giving you guys this advice for weeks now if you're one of the first people to complete the legend challenges you can typically sell the power-ups for pretty high in comparison to what they normally would sell for every power-up weekly legend mutt town whatever when they first drop well no once they're like settled on the market they all go for like six seven k they go for dog scraps but in the first three minutes of like people first getting them they go for like 20 to 30k and i've watched them sell i've seen Dion sell for 50k yesterday i've seen brian dawkins sell for 65k people with a ton of coins they a ton of coins they don't really care they just come in here they buy their card out they don't really give a crap about what they have to do they just they have so many coins they don't care so just be one of the guys the second it drops hop on real quick get your soul get pick whichever one you think is better probably ed reed get that soul challenge done two o'clock the whole time and get right on out of there Go get your coins. You get 3,500 coins depending on what difficulty you play on. And then also, you get the power ups. And if you can sell them both for, at minimum, right? At minimum, you could probably sell them both for 10K. Like, let's say you're, you're late. You could probably sell them for still 10K at that point and make 20K on both of them. Or if you're early on one of them, you get one of the first ones like on the market. You could probably sell one for like 25, 30K at, at minimum at that time. And then some guys, like, like I said, I've seen Young sell for like 50K. I've seen. Brian Dawkins sell for like 50k so you can still make a ton of profit and then what you do is you wait like 20 30 more minutes and you can buy it back for 7k like yesterday I, I sold I didn't actually do this challenge for Dion I just waited like 10 minutes and whenever when they were all up he went for like 7k but initially he did not go for that so just stay tuned for that guys but that is about it for the video thank you so much for watching today's legend content video those are the two legends we don't really have much more beyond that but guys if you're new to the channel make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button boys we're so close to 10k i'm super hyped hopefully two or three more days at the max and if you guys haven't already comment down below what you think of these brand new legend drops you know larry little and ed reed comment down below what you think i mean i think they're i like ed reed a little bit but that's about it i just don't like his position that they put him at i prefer him at a free safety make sure to go over to twitter the link will be down below in the description guys and make sure to turn that notification bell to be notified every time i post a brand new video but that's about it thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the videos today hopefully four more and that's it i'm out see you guys next video peace